it's going down. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four quarters of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. North Korea confirms the latest launch of cruise missiles. <clears throat> On Thursday morning, the South Korean a military reported that it had detected rockets flying over the sea of Japan. North Korea has confirmed its test fired of two long-range cruise missiles. Now, if you notice, they pinpointed how these missiles are long-ranged cruise missiles. Why is it that these countries are constantly developing long range cruise missiles because there's going to come a time a point where during world war three these countries are going to shoot their intercontinental ballistic missiles upon babylon in which modern day babylon is who america as well as surface to surface uh tactical guided missiles over a span of three days and this this happened over a span of three days according to the state-run Korean Central News Agency. The outlet said long-range cruise missiles flew over the Sea of Japan on Tuesday, hitting the target island uh, 101,800 kilometers away, which they said goes a long way towards boosting the war deterrence of the country. So, let me see something. One thousand eight hundred kilometers away. Let's let's let's. I want to Google that real quick. There's a reason why they say long range, right? How far is what the? I don't give a. I don't care about Christmas. Get the hell out of here. How far is 1,800 kilometers in miles? Yeah, we're going to do it in miles. Length. So, let's type in 1,800. So, that, that would be 1,118 miles. Now, let's, let's type in how far is North Korea from the United States. Now, remember, 1,800 kilometers is 1,118 miles. How far is North Korea from the United States? So here we see 6,423 miles. Okay. However, North Korea have missiles that can travel much farther than 1,800 kilometers. The reason why North Korea is creating these missiles is because really they plan on deterring United States interference in South Korea. Because you see, it's, it's not South Korea that North Korea has a problem with. It's the United States. It's, it's 
the United States troops and United States influence in South Korea that North Korea has a problem with. So these rockets are technically, they can travel far enough to reach what? South Korea. Okay, now don't get me wrong, North Korea do have missiles that can travel much farther than 1,118 miles away. Okay, but the point is, is that these countries are starting to develop long range missiles. Instead of having planes that fly over a country dropping bombs, why not develop missiles that can travel very far away? On Thursday, Pyongyang's military test fired surface to surface tactical guided missiles, which succeeded in proving that the explosive power of the conventional warhead complied with the designed requirements, KCNA said. The missile can be launched from launcher trucks and trains. Keep that in mind. From launcher trucks and trains. So they're clearly targeting South Korea here. And is said to boast enhanced maneuverability. The total number of weapon tests since the start of 22 is now six. A the year of turn up, as possible to hard coined. So now let's go back to the Blue Letter Bible. Okay. Because what North Korea is doing here is prophecy. And I'm going to just get straight to the point. Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. So the Gentiles is talking about the heathen nations. If you are North Korean, which really you will be from the lineage of Moab. If you are South Korean, which really you would be from the lineage of Moab. If you are Japanese, which you would be a biblical Ammonite. If you are East Indian, which will be a biblical Elamite. If you are a Hawaiian, which will be a biblical Japhite. If you are an Arab, which will be a biblical Ishmaelite. If you are an African, which will be a biblical Hamite. If you are a so-called white person, which will be a biblical Edomite. You will be considered a heathen, according to the Holy Scriptures, in which a heathen is anybody that is not an Israelite. Okay, don't fake Jews in the land of Israel telling the world they're Jewish and they're not. Those people in the land of Israel today, they're not Jewish. They are descendants of Esau. So they're heathens too. Okay, so the point here is, is proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. What are we seeing here? We're seeing North Korea make preparations for war. And the sixth time, it's not going to be the last time they test fired missiles. They're going to keep test firing missiles. Okay, so we're seeing these countries make preparations for war. Why? Because a full-blown World War III is on a horizon. Then it goes on to say, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. Can North Korea say they are strong? Yes, they can. Because they have long-range missile technology. They are nuclear capable now. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about 
thither cause thy mighty ones to come down O Lord let the heathen be wakened wakened to what to 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 what's really going on here the United States is is the is becoming the common enemy around the world okay just just look at what they're doing in Ukraine Look at what the United States tried to do to Syria. Look at what the United States tried to do in a, in a Kazakhstan. Even China has a problem with the United States. Why? Because the United States refuses to withdraw their 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 um their warcraft carriers from the from the artificial islands. It do not do not the United States got troops over there in Ukraine? So you see the, the United States is becoming the common enemy. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Which when you look up Jehoshaphat in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shapat. For there well, I sit to judge all the heathen round about because Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai is going to judge those heathens over there in the Middle East. So, with that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.